Watching the other half on MCTV. This is our first televised episode of season four. I'm your host, Brittany Jelinski. And I'm Rob Carrera. Season four, can you absolutely believe it? Where did the time go? Getting a little nostalgic, Rob. Oh, you don't even know. You don't even know, Britt. <laughs> well, since Rob and I have been feeling quite nostalgic, we've been thinking a lot about freshman year, you know, living in champ. Classic champ, you know, working at Phonathon, just causing a lot of ruckus on a daily basis. For those of you who don't know, Rob and I both lived in Champagne freshman year, mm -hmm. and we actually met on move-in day. <laughs> Brittany tripping in the elevator as she's trying to get in there. It was pretty funny. And Rob followed me around, trying to convince me to go get ice cream. I don't recall. And then I slapped <laughs> her ass. That's what I do recall. And then after that, we were best friends. That's pretty much it. Um, but <laughs> as every college student knows, the people you meet over the course of the next four years will have a tremendous impact on you. And no one is going to hit home more than that, like your freshman year roommate. Can't believe, you know, that's absolutely right. No one is going to know you better or worse like your freshman year roommate. And I'm just going to say right now, the concept of your first roommate is the most bizarre thing ever. Let's take two completely different people who, I don't know, they really don't know each other and put them in a confined space. Definitely some weird social experiment. That mm -hmm. doesn't always work out, but before we move on, let's bring out two people who we really can't talk about roommates without. Uh, that's absolutely for sure. Everyone, please welcome mine and Rob's freshman year roommates, Kelly Paterno and John Smith. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> John Church, Yay. welcome to the studio. <laughs> Sit next to the co-host and your former roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so these two people helped me get ready for my first date at Marist College, um, and then they stalked me as I walked to this guy's car. Ooh. Who were they? It's two people. In the room? Yes. Okay. You and you. <laughs> yes. No? Yeah? Mm. Oh yeah! <laughs> I thought, oh my, oh, I thought yeah. it was Rob because he was in love with you, but it was it me. It was you. I remember that. <laughs> no kidding. Blowing up my spot. Yeah. John has a lot of good I wasn't hair in tips. love with Brittany. I was physically attracted to her. Whatever, whatever. I was physically attracted to a lot of people. John, <laughs> in love. Kelly, <laughs> Peter. You know. Whatever. But that was my, how, how funny was that? I heard about it afterwards. Yeah, yeah I know. You guys yeah. want to talk about it? It was good. Yeah, I mean. Um, it was funny oh because God. I remember like it happened like out of nowhere and Kelly was so excited. So excited. And John, um, John would come to Kelly in my room um, frequently just to make sure that Rob wasn't in there. <laughs> and, um, Pretty much, yeah. Because sometimes Rob would just go in there even if I wasn't in there. Mm -hmm. Like there was that time where um, you went under my bed because you were going to jump out and scare me, but I didn't come home for like three hours. It took forever <laughs> for this like son of a gun to come back. This bitch, I, I knew you were supposed to come home. And remember that? And I was I like do. stuck. I was like, Kelly, text her. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I think I walked in. I was, I was there like, Rob, why are you underneath Britney's bed? It was the worst prank ever. <laughs> God damn, I remember that. So because Rob would do things like that, John was like, I'm going to go and just make sure that Rob's not up there. And then John came up, and Kelly was helping me get ready, and then John yeah. helped me get ready. I did my part. I think yeah. I was excited because, like, freshman year, you know, you don't have dates that are like, yeah. I'm going to come pick you up, and we're going to go on a date. It's more like we're at a bar, and we're drunk, and we're falling <laughs> or over. We're on the press. Applebee's. <laughs> Applebee's. Applebee's. Oh, yeah, that's Where'd right. you go? To the movies? Yeah, it was really nice. It's actually, to this day, it's still one of the best dates I've ever been on. Mm -hmm. um, if you're out there. Yeah. <laughs> come you're back. out there and you remember me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we went to go see, I have this terrible curse with the Hunger Games. I've been on two dates to go see, like, Hunger Games and Catching Fire. Yeah. Both guys, great guys. It just ended right after that. It fizzled. That. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? But, um, so I will never see The Hunger Games with anyone. I should just see it by myself. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we saw The Hunger Games, and then we went to get Chinese food at Young Ho. And, um, <laughs> and he spoke Chinese to the people in there, and I've literally never been more was impressed. He, he wasn't. He was just really, like, smart and cultural. Guys, if I can tell you one thing, speaking another language gets the girls thirsty. It, it, it is a huge, yeah, thumbs up. Am I right? I play the foreign card all the time. He's not even foreign. That's actually the only card you play. That's the only card yeah. I do have. What, else, what are yeah. my other cards? True. I got enough hair to 
shelter the entire nation of Portugal for a year. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, who started the rumor that Rob and Brittany were dating freshman year? This is People still believe it one. to this day. Oh my God. Yeah. Did you? I don't remember. To you be think that. This is a trick question. I Rob? started the rumor. <laughs> <laughs> People still believed it like through junior year. I you and that rumor you did. It was you and did. every other guy on the floor. And it's floor. hilarious because I started dating someone sophomore year and I'm still dating her. People still came up to me afterwards like, so how's Brittany? I'm like, oh, she's People great. People asked me. They were like, but, um, but, I'm so sorry. And I was like, why? <laughs> yeah. well, Rob's, with, why? Rob, Rob's with someone else. Like, <laughs> but the thing is, people will come up to me and be like, how's Brittany? I'm like, oh, she's good. They're like, yeah, she's good. And wink at me. I'm like, wait, I think we're on two different wavelengths. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, she's good. Wink. Like, no, no, no. Like, so I, I started that rumor. People Rob, you didn't, it. like, secretly start the rumor. Like, shh, like, guess what? Me and Brittany are dating. It wasn't yeah, a secret. It, from the roof it was yeah. more like, hey, like, this is my girlfriend, guys. She's a sick body. Oh, <laughs> I love her. And it was like I <laughs> caught him. We Remember we went to go, it was the first time we ever hung out with, like, Ryan Dito and yeah. Peter Amar and all them. Yeah. And, like, we went to the soccer field, and I was, like, reading or something. I don't remember. And, um, Doing something nerdy. And, reading. Yeah. And Rob was playing soccer, and I literally hear Rob say to them, oh, Brittany, yeah, that's my girlfriend. So, like, eight guys are like, really? Whoa, <laughs> she's so hot. And Brittany's like, Rob, <laughs> <laughs> shut I think, up. I think the only fight that you two ever had freshman year was, like, when Brittany came back, I can't believe you keep telling people that word. Yeah. <laughs> it was, like, literally, like, like, rumors would cock block her. Be like, Rob, that guy was like, oh, that's your boyfriend, right? Be like, no, it's not. <laughs> that did happen once. No, yeah. I, I my favorite it. Rob story out of all of them. When you, this um, is it. You're talking to this girl at this party. You like came up to me and you're like, dude, I'm talking to a senior man, and I'm like, cool. Like, and then <laughs> later you tell me you're, 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 she's like, I'm a senior, and you're like, no way, I was a senior last year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my favorite line. Man, what a freshman year game. line yeah. to like to so say funny. to a senior. That's so cool. I don't cool. think you ended up sealing the deal with that one, did you? I absolutely did not. I ended up hooking <laughs> up with a sophomore. Yeah, instead. but you told you told. Everybody. Anyone who had yeah. ears knew that you hooked knew up with a sophomore. that I had hooked up with a sophomore more than once. It did happen more than once. She was slumming oh, it. Yeah, she was slumming it with the foreign kid, whatever. Yeah, I remember that one. It was awesome. Ew. That's yeah. me. I'm, I'm the foreign kid she was slumming it with. Oh, uh, okay. And you're still <laughs> telling people. I I just told everyone again. It's three years ago, but it's okay. We're, we're still there. I mean, she graduated. What's she going to do? Come back, right? She's not going to bust through that door right now and get pissed. <laughs> Imagine is that, is I took care of her. Oh my that. god. <laughs> I took care of business. So it was the good stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, I feel like Rob just did like I feel like you had out of everyone you had like the most interesting. No. Who? You had the most interesting. Ooh, really? Kelly. Yes. Yeah. It was definitely Brittany. Mm -hmm. Oh my. I had a lot of interest. Well, mine was. Rob had a very diverse yeah. pool of uh she had, he had diverse, but people. Brittany had like that happens to no one other than Britney kind of story. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. But that still stuck with me. The token yeah, Britney she still has that. kind of story, yeah, that yeah. you can't ever make up. But you learned from it. You moved on. There's so many now that are coming to mind. Now that I think about There's it. So yeah. many. So many. Ooh. I had like a stalker freshman year who then turned out to be That wasn't me. Terrible. No, it was someone <laughs> else was besides like, was Rob. Bob. Yeah. Oh, my God. Right. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. John, John just had like some lovely ladies. He had the most gorgeous women. He yeah. Was, like, I was like, what the fuck is he And doing? Kelly had, like, the most gorgeous men uh, I don't following know about her. I don't there know were about guys that. who would just, like, come to our room, and I would just be in there. They'd be like, is Kelly here? And I'd be like, no. And then I would just, like, talk to them. Son and they'd of a tell bitch, me yeah. About, some, about themselves. I was there one time. <laughs> then we became friends, though. I was there one time when a guy came and was like, oh, is Kelly here? And then we talked to him for, like, an hour. Yeah, it was, was great. Like, this guy is the best. <laughs> yeah. I think you know what I'm talking about. Eh. No, I'm <laughs> yeah. Kelly just pushed them all away. She's like, I don't need you. Oh, yeah. So independent. That's really sexy. Probably because I ended up doing something super weird, and then I was, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Sometimes there's a big struggle with, like, if someone has a boyfriend or if someone has a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. We, we kind of touched on this that. earlier, but we didn't really bring it up. Like, there's uh -huh. this issue. I don't know if you kids still call it being sexiled, but we called it being sexiled. Yeah. When, kids. Yeah, you know. You know, like, sex we child was we a thing. We didn't have to worry about the boyfriend thing. That doesn't really yeah. happen to us. But, yeah. We, were, <laughs> we never sex child each other either. Because no. if there was a guy there, it was just like, oh, well, they're here. And we were like, okay. Yeah. And then it was that's fine. That's kosher, I guess. I guess men have a well, lot better understanding. Well, the only guy I ever had sleep over was Rob, and nothing was happening on that end. <sighs> no. Uh, Except for him, once again, taking Brittany's <laughs> butt and... That... I no, will, to the right, day right. I die, you. It wasn't you, Rob. It I'm wasn't telling you. you, she was smashing her ass up against <laughs> me so I would fall off the bed. 
No one's gonna believe me though because I'm I'm like what a pervert like what is it? Because like, you made a fake relationship for the past three yeah, years. Yeah, that might be. Do it. you remember we <laughs> went Facebook official freshman year? We did for like ten we minutes. We did, and okay, so we can't talk. We cannot talk about freshman year champ roommates without talking about the guys of the fifth floor. That was us. That was these mm -hmm. two. Um, Eric, Quinn, Troy, Troy, Troy Nick, yeah. um, Trolley. The Matt, teams were Trolley yeah. in there. <laughs> and like Matt Tumulty. Matt, Tum yeah, Matt Tumulty, Mark Driscoll. So many people a lot from the, the fifth floor. That we still talk to. And, Tim, Mo, Tabor. I live with Greg and Tumulty. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, so. this is why Ryan it's Elman I live with, too. Yeah, yeah, Ryan Elman. I see him all the time. And it's this is why it is so important that if you're having problems with your roommate, um, sometimes, I hate to say this, but sometimes there are situations where you can't help it. Like, you and your roommate will just never get along. Sometimes you get the short end of the stick. You have a weird roommate. I'm sorry, and, I, you know, but good for you if we're dealing with it. But if you do like your roommate, you should try your hardest to try to get along with them because they really are an important part of your life, and they could be a great friend. Sometimes you got, like, a weird just roommate. unfortunate. And... You just got to deal with it. You just got to roll with the punches. Try your hardest to try to get along with them. You and don't you know, got to be their best friend. Yeah, you know. don't have to be their best friend. Sometimes it's better if you're not their best friend. If mm -hmm. you have your friends and they have their friends, and those friends sometimes hang out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And We kind of had that, too. Yeah, we had that, yeah. too. Like, Kelly's friends I was friends with, and my friends Kelly were friends with. But we, we, could, we could go our separate ways if we were annoying each other, which we really didn't do very yeah. often. But, and you know what, say you and your roommate are really tight, you guys just get along so well, then they start getting like under your skin. Like we said, it's completely normal. Take some time, just be like, just gotta, I'm just gonna go <laughs> to the lib for a while, watch a movie by myself. Yeah. James Canavino. Yes, good old James <laughs> Canavino. Your future roommate. That was a bad joke, I'm really sorry. He's a very generous, <laughs> he's a generous lover. Yeah, he definitely is. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I, I mean, I feel like we've hit every part of roommates. Yeah. yeah. You feel good? You feel like feel we've great, exhausted yeah. everything? I feel like we've gotten some closure, you know? So cl was there anything that we didn't close about? I guess not, man. <laughs> not anymore. Perfect. That was a perfect way to end the show. Yeah. You know? I think it's so. What can you say? Freshman year. Freshman year. It was my, oh, I'm not going to lie. It was probably my best year. It was my favorite year. And it's because of your roommates. It is. First few months are a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we didn't mention how Brittany didn't have sheets her fresh her first. I I thought you were gonna bring this up when we talked about first impressions. <laughs> I didn't bring a pillow. This so. is terrible. You didn't bring a pillow. No, I didn't. Oh, I Brittany up didn't bring sheets. I didn't bring sheets. I didn't bring any posters or anything for like a good two weeks. I didn't bring weeks. anything. My Kelly wall was, was so like bare. crafts galore, and I had yeah. like nothing on my walls. For oh. Like the first like three months. And then I brought a Portuguese flag. And John was so pissed. The American flag versus the He was the like, you better, flag. I have an American flag in my room now, though. Good, man. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. I rubbed he, off on you a bit. He did. <laughs> and he got so pissed. It was so funny. I, I didn't have to really get that pissed. I just, like, whenever you play FIFA or something, I'd be like, tear that flag down. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I play FIFA a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. Good times. So, yeah, good times. Look, different people, good roommates. Different people, good roommates. Mm -hmm. Great friends all around. So, um, let's give another round of applause for John and Kelly for coming out today. Very, very, very sweet. Thank you. Thank um, you. They were great co-hosts. Absolutely. For the day. Had fun. Um, good. I'm glad you had fun. It's good to have fun. Good. Good. I'm so happy. We're a fun show. Darby's? Darby's. <laughs> Let's. Every mm. sign off, you got to mention Darby's. Yeah. Of course. So. Darby's. Thank you for watching the other half. I'm Brittany Jelinski. And I'm Rob Carrera. Fantastic show. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, we don't even know what the next topic's gonna be. Who cares? You're it gonna like watch anyway. It might be first dates. <laughs> it might be casual hookups. It might be, be both. Who knows? But it'll be soon. But comment on our Facebook page in yes. case you guys have any, you know, questions or any things you want us to talk about. We'll, yeah. We're very honest. We'll go. We'll go right into the nitty gritty. If you couldn't tell, we're very honest. We're very honest. <laughs> she called me out for a lot of things, and our, t you know, our banter is what makes this show. Just so great. <laughs> so great. So yeah. great. Yep. All right. Well, yeah. So thanks for watching. I don't know what else to say. Roommates. Chica -chica. Just Anything that has to do with hair off. removal, I feel sheds. like, involves me. In some way. We wanted I to wax it, but. I have not had a satisfying cafeteria breakfast in a while. Really craving those omelets. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, can you imagine? If only Portuguese people were allowed to procreate, we would be back to the Stone so Ages of apes. So we would only apes. have Portuguese people. There'd be no other people to procreate. Apes and things of that nature for years.
Okay, um, so not really relevant in breakfast. It's gonna be a good, good episode.